for the try to What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus, sir? You're now listening to Music Impulse with Smiles. It's your boy Josh, aka Smiles. We back for another episode of the Music Impulse Podcast. On this episode, I got my man Willis Ryder, straight out of Oklahoma City, right? Yes, sir. Hey, we in the, in the go ahead. Uh, you know, introduce yourself, my my guy. Yo, yo, what's up with y'all, man? Uh, I go by the name of Willis Ryder. I'm a songwriter. Uh, I'm a poet, actor, my father. Oh so, yeah, that's me. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, before we really get into it, because I was, you know, checking your credits, I, I did see this the songwriting because it was a. I didn't listen to the song, but I saw it was a. I think it was a chick, and it said uh, you were listed as composer. <laughs> okay, what's yeah. you don't know the song? Um, actually, I can look it up right right now. We, oh, was it uh, uh um Sia Amun? That might have. That's been. my sis. Hey, I want to shout out Sia Amun. Um. Yeah, I could get into that whole deal. Like that's that's jumping right in, but um, I I believe um, I want to say the song is "Peace of Mind." I could be wrong. I'm gonna be mad if I'm wrong on that. But I think the song is "Peace of Mind" by Sia Moon. But back, uh, back. Sh- sh- shy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah compo- composer. That's some that's some that's some newer uh, music, man. Shout out to Shy. Shout out to One Time. Uh, they're they're a label in Oklahoma City. One time music group, shout out the gang. And the song was two AM. Yeah, yeah. We wrote two on shot. We got two AM and uh the other one is What was the other one you were you were just saying that you uh, uh I wrote I, we wrote four. We wrote uh four so we got two four singles, but two of them came out. Two AM and Change Me. Okay. Yeah, and uh they brought me in as the lead, lead songwriter and um we just cooked it up, me shy, the label the label owner, uh one of a kind. We all wrote the songs together, um, but um, all the all the sessions I usually run the sessions as the lead songwriter. Just you know what I'm saying? Because when I was in Atlanta with Sia mm. and uh, Py, they're actually the uh, the son and daughter of Stephen Russell from the group Troop. Okay, Troop. Okay, yeah. yeah. So um, they they're my mentors. They're uh, Troop's kids, okay. and so. That was actually my first um, placement was on CI Moon, a song called Peace of Mind. And when I was out there in Atlanta, they just they really taught me about the culture of songwriting and writing songs and groups and uh, trust. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, most people, they, they're like, who are you to be writing a song with me for me? Like, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like you got to it got to be special. It got to be divine timing uh, to have that trust. You know what I'm saying? To to where we all can Put something in on the song. You know okay, yeah, that's, that's definitely. But it's important. like the ind- industry standard, though. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm from a smaller city, so it's we it's taking us some time to understand the different concepts and standards of the music industry. Okay, yeah, and, and who was the other artist you you were first mentioning at first that you wrote? Uh... Uh, Sia Amun. Sia Amun. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay, yep. I'm gonna have to ch- uh, check that out too. Yeah, it's a song called "Peace of Mind" that oh. she put on her album, and they blessed me to be in their in their session and it was actually a session for her album and I probably threw in about three or four lines you know what I'm saying but Mm -hmm. because it's a standard and everybody who contributes gets credit they actually credited me on the song so I'm listed as a a, a composer on on Sia's song too okay that's dope that's dope um but yeah, we we can get right into it. Like, let the folks know. Like, yeah, who who are you? How, how'd you got started? Because uh, one thing I definitely liked that I I peeped from listening to your your album Eleven Eleven was it said it was part of Willis Ryder Publishing. So I was like, okay, like, yeah. so, so he already know early. Like, hey, you know, my own company. Like, get this like under, yeah. under my own thing. You know, so I that, that's something that's forever. <laughs> for sure, for sure, yeah. And um, that's uh, that's basically my 
my drive in the music industry. I, I started as a poet, but um, transferred over to a songwriter and an artist. And now I, I'm working on my own publishing company. So I'm learning about copyrights with MLA, uh, song trust, collecting all the mechanical royalties. And it's, it's crazy because all while I'm trying to, you know, sift through ways to publish and to register and to license and to get my royalties mm. the music industry is changing and changing and changing so i'm kind of just you know letting it come to me but as well as going out finding different ways to register my music and collect my royalties but also really just working on the marketing side because you know what i'm saying you never gonna really see any analytics until you build your audience mm. you know what i'm saying so that's the that's where i'm at right now you know what i'm saying so Started as a, I started as a poet, you know what I'm saying. So uh, I've been on the Apollo three times. Um, yeah, I did see that you said I've uh, been on the Apollo stage and you've been on all deaf poetry. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, man. So it's been a journey. I've uh, been at it for a decade, and it uh, feels like just yesterday I started. So it's it's lit. I'm blessed. Oh yeah, we we definitely gonna get in, uh, definitely into like all that, uh, especially like the marketing and all that stuff because I, I love your consistency and, and things that that, that, sure. that I've noticed from looking at your social media. But what, what was like your your start? Where you like I want to like really get into like um, music, music or like or like like then you say like you start off as a, a poet. Like where are like some of your inspirations like either from like an actual lyrical poet side or like even just a music poetry type of side. Mm, I like that. I like the way you put that because most people they hear I do poetry and they're like, who's your top five poets? I'm like, it's like three or four poets that I really drew inspiration from with uh, Black Eyes for sure. She Han, all deaf poet, um, deaf jam poet, excuse me. Um, she Han, Black Ice, Black Thought, oh, yeah. myself, I'm a monster. Um, Freddie Gibbs, I've been getting hit to like the mob. Uh, Freddie Gibbs, uh, Shay Dollar, uh, was it Jay Diggs, bro? Jay Stalin? Both of them. You know what I'm saying? I've been really, I really been getting put on to Rich the Factor, like mob music, just poetic music, you know what I'm saying? Just really raw lyrics. Uh, so I'm a songwriter, so I, I write all different type of genres. I write for females. Uh, so. You know what I'm saying? It's just inspiration everywhere. You know, I'm a very impulsive person. So when it came <laughs> to the music, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, it was an impulse of me getting into poetry and it was an impulse of me getting into music. Uh, I actually started as a comedian and an actor. Okay. So I've done stand up, I've done poetry, music, and every single time I've kind of shifted my identity as an artist, it's just been on impulse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your sign? I knew you. Hey, bro, okay, wait, wait, wait. Because I'm a Virgo and I, I, can, I can be very impulsive. <laughs> Facts, bro, you're intuitive. You're, that, was, which is why music impulse, because I, like, I was like, I'm very impulsive, like how my mood is when it comes like the music I listen to. Love yeah. it, love it. I'm an Aries, bro. My mom's a Virgo, so that's uh, lit. That's okay, lit. Okay, I, one of my little sisters, uh, she's an Aries. So. Okay. Yup, 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 yup. That's me, fire sign, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all also definitely very caring and and strong. Like y- y'all will fight for like the facts, <laughs> the facts. Fight. No, for what we believe in and who we love, we going we going to bat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and for then, sure. And then like, especially from knowing like my sister, like whatever you into, like like you said with your music, like like right now, like uh, she's been really into like getting her uh, culinary business going. And mm. it's been, like like when she. The size of something She gonna go all in Yeah yes, She's, she's yes. like no Like no Like this is what I'm doing Like right now Like yep. she, she didn't just finish Like culinary school And, yep. and everything She like I'm, I'm out here in these streets Like yeah. <laughs> Like she even like Quit her job Like I'm going full Full on Like hey wow. Like I believe in myself That's like, powerful She's like I got the, the business LLC going I'm, Yeah I'm doing this she's like, That's how you do it That's how you do it Cause there's so many Perks, you know what I'm saying? When you do it the right way and you get your LLC and you get your EIN and then you become an entity and then it's now it's bigger than you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's powerful, like for real. So um yeah, man, it's cool. Like we Aries, we 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 straight off of passion. So if we feel like just a, a spark of passion or anything, we zero to a hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely for sure. Um but yeah, let's get um into the um Album 1111. Oh, man, I saw, I, I saw on the website it's Raw Truth wrapped in Neo Soul, Honesty Translated with RB. So when I when I first saw that, I was like, okay, I was like, this, this is a, a nice little tagline. I'm, I'm ready to like get into Dive it. Dive into it. Um, I like how you, you put it together um, um, far, far as like the uh, track listing because I feel like that's something a lot of artists don't really do a lot these, these days. They don't really like go through and like really. Um, Line it up uh, track wise, make sure it flows from like one track to another. Yeah, but definitely um, my favorite two tracks that, or like favorite two three tracks that I like is actually on the second half, like 
better faith. Yeah. Life's not fair and birth. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, right now, me personally, I'm unemployed right now. Wow. So I was like, you know, really been testing my faith, you know. Wow, wow, and, and wow. And get into my faith personally, you know. Then also just. So you connect putting, with that. Yeah. And then with like life's not fair and birth, that's when I really was like, oh, he really is like lyrically, like he's on like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, an, another level. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like so. That's love, um, bro. Like tell us about, you know, coming up with this project and putting it together. Man, bro, for one, I just want to say thank you, bro, for taking the time to listen and break that down because we really did work hard on just the aesthetic of 11 It took It took five years. And it was, the name got changed and changed again and the songs got switched out. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, if you notice, it's a shorter album. Um, but I did that kind of just because we in the newer age. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the type of music that I'm making, it's like I know traditionally some of them songs will be four minutes, five minutes, three verses, but mm. I come up in, in the new generation, so, but I still got an old soul. Mm. So I wanted to create something that was digestible for everybody. So I, that's why a lot of the songs are shortened up. And, um, but like you said, man, it's packed with real, real truth. Like, Life's Not Fair and Birth um, was really special tracks for me because I, I'm a collaborative artist, so on 11 11 especially i did a lot of collaborations with other singers and stuff mm-hmm. uh but i was re- i was writing all the lyrics um because i'm not a vocalist myself so but with a le- with a life's not fair and birth you know those are the standalone hip-hop tracks mm-hmm. on there for me and so i really wanted to you know showcase my lyrical ability um and so yeah man really my favorite song um well life's not fair first i don't want to i don't want to shy away from life's not fair yeah when life's not fair um, I wrote that song when I was in New Jersey, man, and I just remember. Oh, that's what I, that's what I was gonna say. Um, my bad, my mind going from place to place, to place. But I wanted to shout out my um, my creative manager, uh, my, and he's also my producer and engineer as well. So he's a uh, my partner, and he uh, TZ, TZ Island. Mm-hmm. His name is Tresden, and uh, we work really hard on just like putting the album. Like you know what I'm saying Like the, Which songs How the songs are gonna go Like mm-hmm. in, in what order And it was crazy because His order is how the or, How the order is On the, on Apple Music Like it's yeah. The songs But my order Is Reverse From Genesis Up Okay So that's That's how I wanted The uh, track listening to go But You know what I'm saying I feel like his order was A little bit A better decision Just cause of Well Well I think Well Well is one of the strongest uh, the strongest songs on the album. So yeah. for sure. Yeah, because yeah. the way it came in, I was like, okay, let's, yeah, let's, come in like straight R and B, like almost two thousand nineties, like yeah, that's Lan Louis. Okay. Yep. So he's a he's a very like he's a legend in Oklahoma. Like you know what I'm saying? He never really blew up, blew up, but the real ones know Lan Louis is one of the best artists to come out of Oklahoma, and um, he's he's actually like my childhood friend, and. Uh, it was a pivotal moment in making 11 11 because it was a moment we was in the studio and he was he don't really make he make music still but he don't really pop out that much mm. and so we was all in the studio cooking up and he was like bro i actually got a song for you i'm like damn I'm like because like he knew me before i started doing music okay and so for him to say he had a he had a song for me i was like Phew. and then when we heard it i'm like damn he gave me a hit and so it probably took me about three weeks to put my verse on it and then on it was history, but mm-hmm. shout out Lynn Louis for sure because he he really like got eleven eleven started like oh that's dope with that record that well well oh yeah I was like I, I know it was a, definitely a great start um also with, with the with the album um any like other like standout tracks that you feel like is like your your favorite one um super classic probably super classic um and natural high. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you why because, man, I just love writing R and B hooks, bro. And I, I just feel like it's a, it's like a, it's a singer inside of me. And I can, I can hold a note sometimes, but like sometimes the, the melodies and the lyrics that come to my head, it's like, why did God bless me with it? Because I can't even do it. But it's yeah. just that's the power of music, though. And like, like I was saying, that trust, like. I find vocalists all the time and sometimes I pay a vocalist sometimes you know it just all depends um and I love collaborating with vocalists so I was able to collaborate with uh Dominique Lindsay she's out of Arkansas okay and uh Gabrielle B 
on that super classic. She's in LA right now, but she's from OKC. Okay. And uh, she's a really dope artist, Gabrielle B. You should look her up. Um, and I got to collaborate with her on Super Classic, but she just like executed like what, the lyrics so well. She was so professional, like didn't rip me off like an arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love that record. I wrote that record top to bottom though. So I wrote the the um, the hook on Super Classic for Gabrielle B, and uh, I put the verses on there. That's probably that's probably one of the smoothest tracks like I ever made in my life. That's dope. That's dope. Um, one thing I've noticed just from looking at your social media and even just talking to, to you right now, like your professionalism and like knowing like again, like you said, you've learned from people like who got people in groups like Troop and everything. So yeah. I can definitely tell like you definitely took what they taught you and you like really put it into it. But I know it's like you said, um, Cause you were opening up for Waka Flocka. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we did we, we that de too. We definitely gonna get into like how, how was that opening up for him. But uh, I saw you saying like the importance of uh, practicing and things like that, and also just saying like you learned some lessons. So speak about that speak about that. Oh, uh, rehearsing. Pra you said talk about you said practicing like rehearsing. Yeah. Man, um, I feel like that's just like one of the main. Uh, aspects of artist development is 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 trying to die, but I'm not gonna let it die. Like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let it die. You know what I'm saying? But um, man, rehearsal rehearsal is key. Uh, rehearsal tip that I always give people, like for poetry and memorization. My mm. God, memorization. Like when I when I do my poems and I memorize them, I rehearse it 21 times. Okay. So like I really can I can memorize a poem probably like a one to two minute three minute poem in one day. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? So. But it's just all about, you know what I'm saying? Just like, just like I, I come from a background of sports. So, you know what I'm saying? When we practice, like, repetition was everything. Get them reps in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, it's the same thing with art and music and performance. So, that's all I can really say is just practice, 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 practice. Practice makes performance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ain't practicing, you probably, you're going to say you're a performer, but you ain't going to get out there and perform. Yeah. Because no. you ain't been practicing. Yeah. And also, even just with the logistics of, the technology or whatever you you working with like you know the mics and all that that's a great way to kind of just test it out before like of course you know some stuff may still happen when it's time right. for the show but if you practice if you practice <laughs> even if the mics go out you gonna still keep going yeah because you're like oh okay I, I i know like uh for these type of mics they gave me i know not to like be like like too hype or maybe i need to <laughs> yep. get my breath up or whatever my, my 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 sound up or whatever for whatever you're working with and also just with the stage like okay i know like whatever moves we gonna do like okay i, mean, I can only take 10 because if i try to take like 12 yeah, yeah, <laughs> i might fall off that stage it's different with every stage for sure mm -hmm. just last night we was out here and uh we was in oak cliff they had a it was a 18 wheeler it was the 18 wheeler uh -huh. but just the back and nothing on top that was the stage <laughs> That shit was cut. Oh, can we cut some of my fault? That shit was dope. Uh, and they had the lights and everything. So you just never know with the stage. Like, you never know. Um, you just never know, like, how much you can move or, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, like being well rehearsed is like, it's everything. Like, if the mics go out, if the stage too little, like, you're going you gonna to make it a, a show regardless. If it ain't no stage. Mm -hmm. it's, you get that a lot in Oklahoma. It don't be no stage. You got to. You got to be the stage, yeah, <laughs> or find the stage. And sometimes you got to do, especially when you, you want to come up. Yeah. Um, but what was it like, you know, opening up for Walker Flocking and meeting him and all that? Man, Walker. Because you know, for me, that's that's, that's college days. So I was like, you know, man, legendary, and he's still doing it though at a high level. Mm -hmm. Like that's bro, it was it was amazing. Like I'm forever and like grateful, like to be able to open up and and meet Walker and just you know what I'm saying, just get the experience. You know what I'm saying? It from that from the angle of opening up for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was dope. Like like when we was at we was at sound check, we was sound checking, and then he walked in. And it, bro, it was so crazy because uh, shout out to Mingo too. Mingo was telling us that he did a show in Virginia the same day and hopped on a PJ to Emporia, Kansas. Oh wow! Like Empor a PJ to Emporia, Kansas is crazy. Like, like it's a small, it's a I'm small ass city. I was gonna say, I was like, I've never even heard of Emporia. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. So shout out Emporia State. Uh, that's where the show was at. Um, but yeah, he he hopped out the PJ and he was there. He was there for sound check and everything. And then we we met in the uh, in the green room. Super cool. We was just chopping up with him. You know what I'm saying? Took a shot with us. Took pictures, videos, all that. You know what I'm saying? Smoked up all that. So it was. Man, shout out Walker, bro. Like it was, it was dope. Like, 
Yeah, because I, I even saw recently on his social media, he opened up for like a Pokemon card convention. That was con- that day. Oh, <laughs> I think that was that was the, the if you look it up, you got to fact check me on it. But I think that was in Virginia. Oh. That was that same day, bro. OK, yeah, because I, I saw I was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? A, bro, a, yes. a Pokemon card convention. I was like, yes, I was like, that's something I would not, not seen on my, on my bingo card for, <laughs> for, real, for real, bro. Because <laughs> uh, even like my friends uh, and us, uh, we were just talking about it recently, like uh, some of the greatest songs because we were like, yo, what's like one song you think of when we think about college? And I was like, for me. It's no hands. <laughs> man. I was like, I was like, when I hear no hands, I immediately think of college days. <laughs> man, man, bro. And it was to for it to be a college show at that, it was even bigger. Like they was they was lit for us. Like they already knew us. They was that lit. Like we came out, they was ah! I was like, oh, <laughs> like it turned me up. So like, and then when Walker came out, like, he's such a great performer. Like it was probably like two songs in. He hopped in the crowd and he was in the crowd. Like he performed like three or four songs in the crowd. Damn. Pouring beer in the frat boy's mouth, all that. Like he was going <laughs> nuts. Like high five. Like I'm like, damn, walking hard. Yeah, and I saw he like was, he, he does like a lot of performing overseas and And it was only like four hundred people in there. Hey. And it bro, you know what I'm saying? That that's it was that was the most impressive thing that I took away from meeting Walker and opening up for him was I was like, bro, how? Because he performed at UCO the night before, mm-hmm. and I was like, I was like, how was how was it performing at UCO? He was like, shit, it was lit to me, you know what I'm saying? And then after the show, I kind of seen what he meant because it was like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't sold out, but you would you would have thought it was by some of the pictures and just mm-hmm. the energy in the building. Like when he yeah. came out, like you would have thought that mug was sold out. Mm-hmm. So it's all about it's all about that energy, and that's the professionalism I'm saying like, yo, I gotta. Give them all my energy, Facts. <laughs> no matter what, because I, I want them to feel like this is the best show they ever. That's a <laughs> went, fact. That's a fact. Went to. Um, also, I want to get into like the the marketing aspect because I love your consistency on social media. Yeah, I, I, was, I was like, I was like, yeah, he, he's definitely like super uh, consistent and everything. So, where did that come from? That like just something innate in you, or you, you just had to learn to like be social, or is it, again, like again, you, you well, being younger and the, like the generation, like you just. On social media, it's two sides of marketing. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Neezy here. I wanted to make sure that y'all go and get your naturally nate instant moisture duo. That's right, you know, this instant moisture duo can be used on braids, locks, twists, beards, and all of your natural hair. The moisturizer is all natural ingredients. One of our key ingredients, aloe vera, you know, aloe vera is really great for your scalp. And our oil blend is a mixture of the best oils that you can use to promote hair growth and give your hair a good shine and overall just a natural glow. So you're getting two amazing products. Make sure you go to inaudibleruckus.com slash naturally nay. And also you can follow us on Instagram at naturally underscore nay, N-A-E-E. So you got the organic side, the uh, relationable side Just me as a person And then you got The business marketing And so I've always been A great marketer Just like I'm rich in relationships So like I go to LA Or Atlanta Like I don't ever get In a hotel Like I'm always good Like wherever I go And that's just off Performance and just Relationships But um, shout out To my manager again uh, or My creative manager Teasy mm. That's who got me Locked in with Southern Fried Marketing mm. And so Um once we got locked in with Southern Fried Marketing, it just, you know what I'm saying, everything just made sense. So it just like, you know what I'm saying, it was it was up after that. So I just, it's just like, it's a it's a blessing to be able to have marketing on your side. Like, it's, it really is like, um, a lot of people can't afford it. A lot of people can't even, don't even know like how big it is and how important it is. So like, uh, what I'll say is just like, you got to really like get your feet wet and like, Spin with people and see like trial and error, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because we was working with, um, because TZ got us locked in with Southern Fried Marketing, but um, I was working with other marketers and stuff as well. Because you gotta like it's just everything is marketing. Like the marketers mm-hmm. is running social media right now, yeah. <laughs> so um, you just gotta lock in with the right people and just pray that God send a, a genuine person your way. Like yeah, and that but just translates to marketing is everything. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You gotta. Boost your post You gotta find uh, People to market 
outsource marketing mm-hmm. and you gotta you know what I'm saying like I said you gotta do it yourself and get people to help like it's you know what I'm saying it's just it's so big you know what I'm saying it depends on how big you want your business or your product to be mm-hmm. like even I'm um, going into that which so we can get to the next the single was I love that like Every post you tagging your song in it, I was like, I was like, I was like, thank you. This is this is like what an artist is, should be doing. Like, yeah. hey, I'm tagging my song in every. You gotta post. make it a hit. You gotta make it a hit. I was like, because even before I actually heard the song, because I was just going through your social media first, I was like, by the time I got to like the fourth, fifth, sixth song, I was uh, post. I was like, I gotta listen to this song yeah. like for real. Now. I was like, I was like. This is a, a joy right here. Yeah. I gotta listen to the whole, whole thing because it's like, yeah, it's like again, like I said, just going, going through your social media, just hearing the song, you like you tag it in, in your subconscious, yeah, yeah. yeah so by, yeah, that by the time I got to that, that fifth or sixth one, I was like, okay, gotta go check it out. <laughs> I gotta hear the song. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, that's the goal too, man. Like I seen so many people do it on social media before me, so you know what I'm saying. Shout out to them. Like it's, it's too many to name, but it's, it's like. When social media hit, like it was certain artists that was on it, like you know what I'm saying, and it's all about that content, bro. Like mm-hmm. that but, content. But yeah, let's get into the the, the single "Get Back." How, how this this single come come across? And man, and did you know it was a hit? Like uh, changed my life, bro. Changed my life. Uh, working with a team, like it was just like it was like cool. Like the, on this this newer album, I'm work actually working with my dad. Okay, and. Um, he he it, it was so it was cool because like, I feel like my dad he made me earn it. Like he made me earn like him helping me out basically. Mm-hmm. But through through the whole decade of me doing this, like it was just like this year or yeah, maybe end of last year, this year, he was like, Man, like he was like, I like your music, son, but he was like, Man, I, I feel like we can get you some better beats. <laughs> so like he really telling me this, and I'm like, All right, Pops, like, shoot, let's do it. I got I got beat packs, like Let's listen to some beats together and see what you like. Mm-hmm. And um, we had, that's exactly what we did. We was just in the front room, and uh, the the get back beat is called. It was called Friends. Okay. And uh, it was the first. It was the first beat in the pack. And then you know it's that new sexy drill sound. Mm-hmm. My pops didn't even know nothing about all that. <laughs> he don't know nothing about Pop Smoke, uh, Cash Cobain. He don't know nothing about it. He just all off the vibe and just the sound, how it make him feel. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Dang, this beat going crazy." I'm like. Okay, he was, I was like, Pops, this the new sound. Like, you about to turn me up. And so he was like, yeah, man. He was like, man, when you get on this beat, man, just get your get back. I was like, all right, bet I got you. I got you. And uh, it was crazy because I was just going through a breakup. And so it was like perfect timing. And I just wrote I just wrote it. Bro, I just wrote the song. It was about basically about the breakup, about my pops deciding to help me. Like, if you listen to the song, just got a bag I'm recording. Mm-hmm. Talking about my pops helping me out. Like, um, and then, yeah, the rest was history, bro. I just, I just, you know, I'm Willis Ryder, so I just, you know yeah. what I'm saying, put my pen to it. He already gave me the inspiration, and that's how it came to be. Okay, yeah, that's cool. okay. Cause, uh, yeah, I did see, like, you you in the studio. I think you posted, like, today or the other day. You, you in the studio, it was, like, uh, a, a chick singing. I was like, oh, I was like, whatever this is, this sound. Uh, just the I, other day? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, you posted a photo of just you in the studio. Um, it was like another dude in the background. Oh no, that was a good. That was him, the white dude. Yeah, yeah. That that was. That, I just posted that yesterday. Yeah, that's a that's another single I'm teasing. Like I'm like you know what I'm saying with the album. The album is basically done, but you got to kind of like push it out in singles and stuff. Yeah. So I'm just teasing it. But yeah, that's that's that new. That's that new one. I I don't even got a title for it. Okay. So I'm doing a song where, um, it's a double part song. So like like that's like. Actually, half of the song, like the first half of the song, is a totally different song. So. Okay, okay, yeah, because I was. I'm like, excited. That's the only feature on the album. Because my that was another thing. Pops had told me he was like, you got too many features and stuff. He was like, on this album, like no features. Okay. But what's dope about it? Because I'm Willis Ryder, right? So people think it's just me, but Willis Ryder is a brand of multiple writers. Mm-hmm. So. Just like I write for other people, other people write for me too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's a hot take as well. So um, that's one thing that's very special about this album to me is like, I feel like this is the moment I arrived because, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm showcasing my lyrical ability and I'm also having other writers come showcase their ly- lyrical ability through me. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just a special album, man. It's going to be called Supreme. That's my daughter's name. So Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, I that's, get, get that's the that new guy, album. Cause, yeah. Cause I saw you, you had a daughter on your set. So, um, all that together, what's it like, one, you know, doing this with your father and being on, like, 
showing me like your, your music and doing your music with him, but also like again, like you said, being a father as well, being a father as well, and also like the fact that you just said the album's like dedicated to her. Like, what, what, what's it like? For you right now, bro. Most most of the time when I be with, we when we all together because we spend a lot of time together, me, my daughter, and my parents, it just be like a lot of moments. I just be like kind of like just soaking in the moment. I really don't be saying nothing sometimes because I just be like, dang, like I got a daughter and then it's my parents and it's just like they got parents. That's my you know what I'm saying. So it just be it just be full circle. Like it's a blessing. Like it's really just a blessing to be me. I just gotta thank God, like for real, because every, everything in my life I be feeling like. I've I been through I've been through stuff Of course But God brought me through Every single time Like I made it to the day So You know what I'm saying I just be I just be grateful Ever since I had a kid bro I just feel like My life went up Like you know what I'm saying Like she it, Like I became legit Like When I seen When I seen her, When I seen her come out Come out the womb I was just like I gotta really go up Like I gotta I gotta turn this into something So mm-hmm. What's so, some of the things less, that um, You learned Or that Growing up That you Either Have already started To instill in her Or want to do with her Or that you do Want to make sure That you instill in her Hey bro First off My my daughter an OG Like she She got an old soul bro Like When she was in the When she was in the womb Her first picture She was like Like Just hand on the face Like She she like She got character bro So I mean I just want to instill in her Just to be her You know what I'm saying Just to Believe in God You know what I'm saying Just to the foundational stuff But I know she gonna be Like probably more creative Than me Like Her spirit is You know what I'm saying You know women They a little bit more advanced Than us yeah. So I, that, That's another blessing Just to be a, a father Of a Of a Of a young queen So I'm just I be I be just like Listening to her Trying to figure out What she's saying And mm. what's going on In her mind You know what I'm saying More than I'm trying to just like Teach her stuff But you know Once she get older She only She only like 18, 19 months right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah so once she once she get two and three, start talking and like you know, we be reading and stuff like that. Hey, she be she ready to sing, bro. And it was crazy because when she was in the when she was in the stomach, uh, she um she went to the Ken, we went to the Kendra concert, okay. and like we was always in the studio like I, when my, when my baby mom was pregnant, like we was always in the studio because she do music too. Okay. And uh. It would, it would be times we'd be making a song and she would be just kicking like she dancing inside <laughs> of the stomach like so yeah and now she she love music bro hey you, you might have to get her to you know say a little couple things on on, on the album like. I know I know I, I've yet to I've yet to get her on the mic yet so yeah she she actually she made a debut in my uh, the birth video have you seen the video uh-huh. you gotta go I see the go. birth video go oh you it. probably ain't seen it because um. Uh, I want to shout this out too. I got my ma- my creative manager. He got a YouTube as well, so okay. a lot of my videos is on his on TZ Island, TZ Island. Okay. So you can look that up on YouTube and definitely that birth video. I had uh, some really special videos and pictures of my daughter like in okay. in the video. So, cool. but tough. I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get her voice on the album because it's, it's yeah. named after her, so we gotta be gotta put her voice on it. Yeah, it's like uh, even it's like oh, a little, little like you know you didn't even hear. <laughs> yeah, just anything. Yeah, like, facts, facts. Especially maybe you can incorporate your dad or something like. I'm pretty sure y'all can come up with something real cool and creative. Facts. Yeah, that's that's dope. Um, speaking of Kendrick Lamar, I saw you got it like a. Your own version freestyle, which <laughs> since you're like the first, well, besides, you know, like I know, like Lecrae responded or whatever, right, right, but like right, right. you're the first artist I've seen besides like Lecrae to respond. I like that um, you, you did that, but you did it with the new balances. <laughs> um, was that like a song no. you did like on the spot, or is that something you that just had it? I had it. that you just like was like, hey, I might as well just go ahead and yeah. just rock real quick. Yeah, I had it. I had it on the tuck. I had it in the tuck. Uh, but like, I ain't been making music like that for my, that ain't for my album or nothing. So I just, I ain't been really making music like that, but it was a song that I had made just on the cuff. And I was like, I was with, I was with one of my other homies, 530, and we was listening to Kendrick's and talking about the whole thing. I'm like, I had the New Balance on. I'm like, I'm about, to put, I'm about to take my shoes off, take the picture, and put the song. It's just, you know what I'm saying, just fun, fun stuff, you know what I'm saying, hip hop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Was, I was like, see, I was like, this stuff was like... Hey, I'm, I'm content, I'm, bro. Yeah, like you said, content. content. It's like, hey, that was uh, actually an easy piece of content. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to, you know what I'm saying, get in front of the camera or nothing with that one. Yeah, yeah shout out to Kendrick, like with the mystique content. 
Right, it's like I can just upload, upload this real quick. It's like it could go somewhere, it could not go somewhere, but it's yeah. like it's still like it's for because of the moment. People were like, "Oh, let me, let me check it out." Yeah, this and it, it, it ain't for everybody for sure because you you know it's like it's a super long intro. Mm. It's only one verse, you know what I'm saying? That's like really some Kendrick stuff, but um, it's for the hip hop heads, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I know, I because like I come from poetry, so I it, same thing as hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Really, uh, so I know like my music now is kind of crossing over, so some. Some of the real the real ones, they be like, ah, he making, you know what I'm saying, pop music and stuff. But, you know, you got to make a bag. You got to yeah. make something to sell. But I'm going to always be hip-hop for sure to the death of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you also uh, from listening to your songs, um, you mentioned um, your quiet place where you uh, read like in my with. quiet place, learning quantum physics. Oh, let's vibrate, hibernate. Do not poke the bearer. I might violate. Prime time, Dion talking in his forty nine er phase yeah. on the island when I'm writing. Get the highest. Rate. What What is your your quiet place? What What is What is this quiet? Place? Man, really like I really like my quiet place. Really be. In, in the car um, Or either in the car Cause like Every morning after I drop my, my daughter off at daycare I just have a Like I, I gotta commute to work So I got a time where I'm just in the car Like I can not, I can listen to music I can write music Or I can just Not listen to anything That's mostly my quiet place Cause uh, I don't really I need to have a quiet I got a studio And like an office But It ain't really like my quiet place I really like My quiet place really is like in nature Okay. You know what I'm saying So like I love to travel So Every time I get on the beach Like I'm supposed to be on the I'm not gonna be on the beach uh, October 12th I'm gonna be in St. Augustine, Florida So okay. I love being by water bro I'm a Like I said I'm a, I'm a I'm an Aries I'm a fire sign And I'm a, My moon sign is an Aries So I'm a double Aries But my rising sign Is Scorpio So okay. that's the water So I love water bro Like And my daughter She Aquarius which is an air sign, but they the water bearer. Yeah, it's crazy, weird, but you know, what I'm saying water is just water is everything. So that's uh-huh. I, I, I would say that like anywhere near some water, like it's a quiet place for me. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah. dope because uh, I've learned that um, again just uh, during my time this year, where it's like learning that like have like they quiet place like because one of my homies he was even saying he was like he's like bro he's like man he's like real talk he's like I meditate like every day he was like yeah. <clears throat> He's like, you know, because I got my wife and my my kids. He was like, even if I have to, like, he's like, I don't care if I gotta just go sit in my closet <laughs> yeah. for like five, ten minutes just to like, to yeah, to like you release know, just, and just think. Yeah, he was like, I'll I'll go sit in the closet if I I have to just to, you know get my little five, ten minutes. He's like, because that's all you you like you really need. He's like, you know, five, ten minutes is like get yourself together and like, all right, let's go. Yeah, let's get ready to go attack the day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, that that uh that meditation is important, like. I like to meditate either when I first wake up or when I go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, meditation is key. Breathing. Yeah, that's like I'm, I'm, I'm learning because uh, doing it, trying to do it in the, in the morning. I ain't been super consistent, but I've, I've done it a few times. You know, they say we're not supposed to breathe. Through, you know, I, I'll be TikTok. You know what I'm saying? The TikTok said it. But <laughs> yeah. they say we're not actually supposed to breathe through our mouth. We're supposed to breathe through our nose. I didn't know that. Like mouth breathe, they say mouth breathing, mouth breathing pollutes like, like the like you know what I'm saying the passages and stuff. Oh, yeah, crazy! I didn't, I didn't know that. That's music good. impulse, you are gonna learn that here. <laughs> you only gonna learn it on the music <laughs> impulse podcast, right? Yeah, for sure. That's right. For sure. Yeah. Um, what else do I wanted to ask you? Oh, your fashion sense. I was like, this guy's a, a really fashionable guy. I okay. Like, I, I was like, you know, you know, you know, Paul, you know, all that. I don't know if you do that, but uh, you know, I was like. Oh, that was like he'd be pretty fly. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I, I done some modeling too. I was I was actually on um shout out my boy uh Steven Shipley. He got a brand out out of Dallas okay. uh called Star Life. Star Life. It's a, a clothing line called Star Life. And um he actually had me at uh he had me uh, model and walk for him at New York Fashion Week oh, a few okay. years back. So dope. uh I you know that was really a that was really a dope experience for me. Uh, I never been like super into fashion. Like I'm more so like just whatever feels good ain't what's on you, what's in you. But over the course of me artist development and you know, it, really I gotta I can't even you know what I'm saying take the credit because people be on me like my mom, my sister, everybody be on me like make sure your your appearance is good and make sure you're wearing nice clothes. I'm like okay, okay. So I actually I got a stylist too. So shout out to uh, Mothership. Uh, Maya Vaya, um, that's my stylist. So I work with her 
when I'm in Oklahoma doing special events and stuff like that, she get me together. And um, and then I just be picking up pieces myself. I you know what I'm saying? I, I I got I got some fashion sense, you know what I'm saying? But um I really just like bold pieces, you know what I'm saying? It's Michael Kors jacket. Like I just found this. I this is an old jacket, but I found it at my mom's crib. So I was like, man, this is a dope piece. So I've been I've been rocking it for the past few days. You know, yeah. Popping but, out. Yeah, because it's nice and like subtle. Like, yeah. Yeah. But like, I'm not too I don't so I don't got no jewelry on, so I got some jewelry, but I don't really be trying to be like, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. I be on my J. Cole sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um, what else did I want to ask you? Um oh yeah, I'm also going along with the fashion, like I see you got you got merch and you yes, sell merch and uh speak about the importance of that because I know like for artists like even like with this touring, like just getting the merch sales off is a lot because yeah. I know like um one of my homies um here before he really like popped up with the music, he got his merch like Line going, um, going off. Yeah, and then I have I know uh, another homie. Um, before he started his podcast, he, uh, he was like, yeah, I'm getting the podcast. He's like, but I, said, I want people to already know like the name and That's already smart. have have it like in place their hair like oh because uh his brand is like em- embrace the turn up. So I was like, yeah, that that lifestyle like before we talked the podcast like people was buying like embrace the turn up um t shirts and hoodies and all that. And he did that for like a good year or so before he even really Genius. launched the podcast. And so he was like, so that way. They all the people that burst, he's like then, um, like all the people he had like no, that subscribed or whatever bought the merch yep. on the podcast. Bought them. He was like, I can email him blast. Like, hey, guess what? Embrace Turner Podcast is officially out. This is the first episode. Wow! Uh, if you uh, if you they use the merch to get the database, that's yeah. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's that's genius. You know what I'm saying? Like, and um, merch is man. You 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 you're not legit till you get you some merchandise going on. Um, I've been I've been. I'm, my uh, journey of being a, a a designer, if you will, I got a holding line called my legend. I made, I got a cricket and a heat press, so sometimes I make my own merch. Sometimes okay. I send it off to get embroidered. I don't know how to sew, so I got an embroidery. Uh, I love, I love them. I love the embroidery look um, the most. So we got some, we got some get back hoodies on the way. Um, but merch is everything, man. Right now, I'm really kicking myself in the. In a in a butt pause, but <laughs> I just because I don't got no merch on me right now, but I do got merch on my website. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still I'm building that up, and uh, oh shit, I'm building that up. Uh, so you can't get merch right now on my website, uh, WillisRider.net. But um, yeah, man, merch is everything. I I encourage everybody to, you know what I'm saying? Get a heat press, get a cricket because it's so easy to make clothes. So you can, you know what I'm saying? Again. We need, we want to come to merch just like it is with marketing and different levels of marketing. You have different levels of merch. You got to be able to make your merch. You got to be able to get people to make you some merch, you know, build the inventory. Yeah. Cause uh, I like the 11, 11 hat. I was, yep. um, especially being corduroy cause my, my girl Man. loves corduroy, corduroy stuff. And uh-huh. I'm, I'm not really a corduroy portion, but my, my girl loves like, I love, corduroy. I stuff. love corduroy. So I was like, I'm going to have to, uh, get that hat for my, for my girl. Man. You know, on, on them, like them, them lazy days when she ain't trying to like do the hair or whatever that's on the fine. weekends when we doing like, you know, the little grocery runs and all that stuff. Yes, like, bro. Cause that's what she usually like on the weekend. She like, I ain't trying to do my hair. She just wrap it on. Like, that 11, 11, <laughs> that 11, 11 corduroy is crazy. Yeah. It's a green one on there too. <sighs> That green one is dumb. Because mm-hmm, uh, we're actually getting married on eleven twenty two. Oh wow! And, uh, Congrats, bro. Oh, uh, because she's thank you, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because um, we couldn't get the eleven, but she was like, you know, we can do eleven twenty two because like, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a just, massive number. It's too. just ele- she's like it's just eleven doubled up. Yeah, it's eleven, eleven, eleven. Yeah. yeah. So it was that's like, three eleven. Yeah. So we was like she's like eleven twenty two. So like that's why we're getting married on that day. <laughs> that's fire, bro. That's fire, bro. Where y'all get y'all get married out here? Or yeah, what? in Plano. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. That's yeah, what's yeah. up. So I was like, um, I'm t- when I saw that hat, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, copper that. Cop this, that, this, yeah. This hat for us, yeah. Especially being like I said, being corduroy. So I was like, I was like, I know she'll she'll. She love gonna, that. yeah. That's the the details. That's the details. Yeah, you got to cop wifey that for sure. Yeah, because especially because she was like, "What you got me a corduroy hat?" And I know you don't like corduroy, but yeah. <laughs> but you know I like corduroy, yeah. <laughs> and it got the numbers on it. <laughs> yeah, I designed that myself, bro. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw that, I was, like, that. I was like, "Yep, I'm gonna have to get uh, wifey that that hat." <laughs> for sure, for sure. But um, what else? What else we we working on? We wanted to speak on uh, that you got coming up. Um, OKC People's Choice Awards. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, Pretty dope thing happened in my city, so I'm supposed to be performing at the OKC PCAs. Um, 
finishing up the album. More performances. I'm I'm gonna be in Atlanta. I'm gonna be in Atlanta the first week of October. So that's big for me because that's where I was getting mentored at by uh, by Py and okay. Sia. Okay. Um, so they uh, Sia is actually in Houston now, but uh, my bro, my my bro uh, Py, he's still in Atlanta, and uh, I'm gonna go out there and do some work with him, some some writing with him. Okay. And then I got um, my bro. Uh, I got a lot of producers. Like I got like three producer. And, Three songwriting homies Like close homies All in Atlanta So Right before we go to Florida The Florida show Is actually ending the tour We've been on tour since What month are we in? We in September We've been on tour since August So we've been We've been like 10, 12 cities And so We ended We ended it in Florida okay. On the 12th So Good. Really just looking forward To the end of tour Chill out But hopefully I'm hoping for more More shows in the fourth quarter I'm not I will not turn away No shows but I do need to spend some time with my daughter, so yeah, you gotta get ready for the holidays. You know what I'm saying? Christmas shopping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, man. But yeah, man, it's been a great year, bro. Like even this this podcast, man. I'm grateful, honored to be here to oh, be able to promote you. myself, bro. Um, uh, this whole year has been like life changing for me for sure. Ever since the beginning of the year, uh, last year I had my daughter. Then the beginning of the year, I've been going. Non-stop with the music Then Pops Hopped on In the summertime And then we may get back So it's just been It's been a whirlwind bro So I don't know what's next bro hey. I know I'm lit right now Yeah just enjoying the ride <laughs> For sure For sure Yeah but uh if You know go ahead You know Promote um all the music And your social media And then we can just wrap it up For sure This Willis Rider On the Music Impulse Podcast And uh, you can follow me At Willis Rider Anywhere and please, please, please go to my website. You can buy the music. You can learn about me. You can buy the merch at williswriter.net. Man, peace. All right. That's your boy, Josh, a.k.a. Smiles. And this has been the Music Impulse Podcast. And we out.